Hello and welcome to the Hour of Wisdom and Impartation. This is a segment where we invite in great men of God, people who learn the Word of God and understand the Word of God, to teach us the Word, the mind of God, to tell us what God has for us. Today, let's do with me. I have with me a very wonderful lady, a woman of God, who is ready to um, teach us something extraordinary. The mind, tell us the mind of God. In the studio with me is Madame Mercy Napado, and she is our. You're welcome. Thank you. Nathan. You're welcome. Thank what you. do you have for us today? Um, today I'm speaking on a topic: God's secret place. God's secret place. Yes. Okay, so viewers, you heard it from the mouth of the woman of God herself. She's talking about God's secret place, and I believe I know by the end of this session, your life will not be the same. Stay tuned. Take over. Yeah. Um. First of all, let's pray. Yeah. internal god of mercy i want to thank you for this opportunity once again you've given me i thank you even for the life of our viewers i commit this program into your hands i pray that lord jesus it will touch the heart of people that they will get to know you and know you more in jesus mighty name i pray amen i thank god so much for another week he has made unto us i thank uh, the viewers of anointed tv in fact you have made us stars you have made me who i am today i thank the management i'm so grateful for this opportunity they have given me honestly the whole of this year i've been praying to god um, concerning a sermon i want to come out with and the lord have laid this particular topic in my heart which is god's secret place okay. and my sermon is coming from the book of psalm 91 verse 1 I'm specifying only on Psalm 91 verse 1 and I'm reading it to my viewers. It says that those who live in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. Mm -hmm. When we talk about um, um, a shelter, it means a shadow. If uh, When we are talking about God's secret place, we have um, so many secret places. We have um, uh, God's secret place being uh, uh, um, your your relationship with God. That is what I'm zeroing in today. We talk of God's secret place. It's a place you dwell in. It's, it's like the presence of God. I'm, I'm specifying God's secret place being the presence of God. And God's secret place, a lot of people, one may ask, one may ask, what is God's secret place? I've been hearing people say secret place. What is secret place? You know, when you are in your room, it's a secret place for you. When you are in the car alone, it's a secret place for you. So that is how the presence of God is. And, and I've been asking myself, God's secret place, why would, uh, 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 um, uh, why would we have God's secret place? What, what, is there a need for God's secret place? God's secret place is coming to the presence of God. You know, when we go to church, it's a corporate prayer. It's a corporate fellowship with God. But there is another secret, which is having a personal relationship with God. And today, that is what I'm talking about. I am talking about being in the presence of God, coming to the presence of God alone. This particular secret place, when you are going, there's nothing like your father. There's nothing like your mother. There's nothing like your husband, your children. It is just between you and God alone. It is communicating to God. So it doesn't really matter where you are. Whether you are in the room, you are in the office, whether you are working, what you need to do is that let your mind be focused on God. Now, going to scripture, I want to talk much today about um, the book of First Samuel chapter 1. It talks about Hannah. Now, Hannah was a woman who was married and having a lover, but yet wasn't having children. When you read this book of 1 Samuel, Hannah's lover had children. You know, in, in life, if you are married and you don't have children, it's another trauma on its own. And in the case of Hannah, she had a rival. That is a first problem because women, we are rival, rivalry, we have issue with rivalry already. And then Hannah rather had children, but Hannah was not having children. Now, Hannah, I, I, I am beginning to believe that Hannah used to go to church. I am beginning to believe that Hannah used to sow a lot of seeds that you have no idea of. Hannah, Hannah did a lot of things 
to God that people are saying that will let her have children, but there was no way for her. But I, I knew that Hannah had a revelation that this time around, I need to go to God. This time around, I need to go to the presence of God alone. I don't need my husband by me. I don't need my family by me. I need to communicate to God alone. Now, Hannah got to the temple. Hannah, Hannah saw a revelation that I need to speak to God alone. Now, Hannah got to the temple and Hannah opened her heart to God. When we talk about God's secret place, it is a place you cry out to God alone. It is a place you go to share your, to share your weaknesses to God. There are some things you do in your secret. Nobody have seen you. Nobody knows what you are doing. But when you come to God's secret place, I mean the presence of God, you cry out to God. You tell God your weakness. You tell God what what you have done that is no good. You see, when you are in your secret place and you are praying to God, nobody hears you. I am sure that Hannah never complained to people. You see, a lot of people, when they are facing some situations, they tend to complain to a lot of people a lot. And uh, this, that, you know, it will not help you. Get a secret place with God. And God will reveal a lot of things to you. And God will answer your prayers. Now, when Hannah go to the temple, you know, Hannah was crying from her heart, pouring out her heart to God. But the priest, which is Hannah's spiritual father in today's world, or Hannah's uh, uh, head of spiritual, who knows more than Hannah, saw Hannah to be somebody who was drunk. But Hannah was pouring out to God. But at a point in time, you realize that the priest saw that indeed Hannah was pouring out to God. And what happened to Hannah? Hannah had a solution. When Hannah left the temple that day, Hannah came home and there was a solution. She had a baby, which was Samuel. Now, another reason why you should go to God's secret places. When you go to God's secret place, he gives you power. He, if I say he gives you power, you know, you, 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 a lot of men of God, a lot of great men you have seen, they have secret place. They, they, they are constantly always having a secret place with God. So God lifts them up. When you have a secret place, you become great in life mm -hmm. because you are always communicating with God. with God. When you still go to scripture, you talk about Daniel, the book of Daniel. Trust me, I love the book of Daniel so much because Daniel also understood the power of being in God's secret place. Yeah. Because Daniel was constantly praying to God. When you read the book of Daniel chapter 6, it says that every now and then, every time, even when they decree that don't pray, Daniel says, I am always going to be in the presence of right. God. So what happened? There was a particular time it was decreed that they were going to eliminate Daniel and his friends. Mm -hmm. And you know, Previous days and weeks and years, Daniel has always been going to mm -hmm. God's secret place, which is the presence of God. So Daniel told the king that, please, give me some time. I'm going to go to God in his secret place. And Daniel went and there was a solution. So if you are watching me from anywhere, if you are believing God for a job, if you are believing God for a husband, if you are believing God even for a visa, anything you are believing God on this planet Earth, as far as you are alive, mm -hmm. I encourage you to have a personal secret place with God. Mm -hmm. Always go to God in prayer. When you go to the book of Acts, you remember that Paul and Silas was kept in prison. Mm -hmm. You know, they, 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 they identified and they know the power of the presence of God. So when they were kept in prison, they didn't have any connection. They didn't have anybody to call. They remembered that mm, the last time we prayed to God, the last time we were praising and just worshiping God alone. And we saw signs and wonders. So Paul and Silas in the book of Acts also understand the power of being in God's secret place. So what happened when they were praising and worshiping God in their secret place, even in prison? You can just imagine if 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 you don't understand the power of the presence of God, why will we will you be put in prison? Mm. And you are praising and worshiping God. It will sound like you are not serious. That time you are supposed to be crying. Mm. But what did they do? They were praising and worshiping God. So you must always go to God's secret place 
praising and worshiping him, acknowledging him for your life, thanking him 24-7 in everything. The book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18 says, in everything, thank him, thank him. Even when you have not gotten a job yet. You, saw, you see, I, I say that a lot of people say, I'm looking for a job, I'm looking for a job. It is not every job that you must do, or it is not every job that was destined for you right, to do. Right. You see, so you must pray to God because there are some job you even do, you get, you'll be thinking of the juicy aspect of the job, but trust me, you just within three, four months, you get the job and you are eliminated. Sure. So it tells you that you must know the power of God's secret place. When you know the power of God's secret place, it will, God will tell you when you are praising and worshiping, when you are always constant in God's secret place, God will tell you, this man is your husband. This woman is your wife. When you, you see, when you are always in the presence of God, God begins to give you ideas. He gives you spirit of discernment. You know, when you are talking to somebody, whether in the office, whether in the family, wherever you are, the person is talking to you, but the Holy Spirit will be telling you what the person is telling you is a lie or what is telling you is true. true. All because previous night you went to God's secret place. Yes. So God empowered you and gave you spirit of discernment. So what am I saying right now? I'm saying that if you don't have God's secret place, if you don't have a secret place with God, please begin to develop it. Begin to develop it. Any problem that you are facing, just cultivate a time to have with God. Every five minutes of your time, especially if you are believing God for a particular miracle, if you are even in a relationship and you are not seeing the, 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 the face of the, the mind of the man or the mind of the woman, Forget about everything and just concentrate on God. Right. Go to God's presence and trust me, everything that you need, God will do things in your own way that you have no idea. And you will achieve it in the mighty name of in Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. It says, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. This is a scripture she read. And I believe that note that you've been blessed so much by her words of wisdom, okay? Being in the secret place is also a place of prayer. As she said, your place of prayer is where uh, can be your secret place. And Hannah had one, uh, Daniel had one, and all the people he, she made mention more also had one. Obapa, God bless you so much for this wonderful message. God bless you, God bless you. Your final words to our God viewers. bless you too. My final word is that, um, you know, when you wake up in the morning, you have a lot of things trying to get your attention. Right. Your phone want to get your attention. If some, if you are somebody who is married, mm -hmm. you, your children and your husband want to get your attention. Mm -hmm. So you are likely not to speak to God before you leave your house. Right. So I encourage you, develop and cultivate a time, at least five minutes of your time, right. ten minutes of your time mm -hmm. every day mm -hmm. to communicate with God. Mm -hmm. There are little chance you get, even when you are working. Even when you go to the washroom, begin to talk to God. Mm. You have no idea what it can do for you. Mm. Begin to talk to God. Begin every minute of your life. Sure. Let your mind be focused. Right. Just always be in the presence of God. And trust me, you see miracles that you have no idea. Nice one. God bless you for the words of wisdom. And then being in the secret place of the Most High also involves being with Christ all the time. Okay. If you are not a Christian, and if, if you don't know Jesus Christ, and you feel for it, the Spirit of God is, is talking to you right now, and you feel like being part of Christ's family right now, you want to give yourself to Jesus, find any Bible-believing church, okay? A Bible-believing church. And join in, get baptized, and believe in Christ. He said, there is no person that will come to the Father. Everybody will go to the Father, except through Jesus Christ. God bless you for listening to this wonderful message from Madam Mercy Napado. God bless you so much for this wonderful message. God bless you too for watching. If today is your first time watching Anointing TV, please make time to subscribe for us. We believe that learning the word of God can transform and turn your life around. We can do nothing without God. God bless you. My name is Minister Sam. Bye-bye.